G'day guys, <coughs> just going to do a quick vid on these um, Naga mice, Naga Trinity in specific. Um, a lot of people online are quite rightfully uh, not happy with the scroll wheels on these things. <laughs> and um, they've got a nasty habit of uh, really getting hard and, and drying out and you know almost almost start ripping skin off the end of your fingers these things they actually get that hard to scroll um, that you have to put so much force into it that you'll press down and you'll activate the click every time you scroll um, <clears throat> everything else seems pretty good on them um, just your typical razor quality sort of stuff sorry about that focusing um, but getting down to it, um, the stickiness on the scroll wheels is um, is basically caused, if you look down inside there, see that little bar at the back? See? Oh, sorry. Uh, focus, you freak. There it is. Okay, so see that little bar? And what that little bar does, that comes across. See it? runs along those little notches you might just see on the inside just little notches see them on the inside of the wheel it's notched yeah you might just be able to see that so if i get a get in better with this down in there anyway um yeah so you can see that bar a little bit better now see that bar as it touches the notches it, it, it must get dust on it really quick or, or it might it might just be a tr it looks like it's made of metal I've actually tapped it and it does feel metal on metal and I'd imagine somehow it's spring loaded that bar and that's what keeps the tension you know like that's obviously governed by how much spring load is pressing back up on that bar that hits the little nod nodules on the inside of the of the wheel anyway the fix okay the fix the fix is um, what I've done what I do uh, mine seems to dry out say every every two two to three weeks now gets a bit um, you know it, it probably gets uh, starts to get um, a little bit harder after about a week and then the second week you, you know you just you by the third week it's intolerable again it's back to stripping the, the, the skin off the end of your fingers anyway what I do is I just get a bit of hobby grease this is just left over from my uh, toy car racing days electric racing card and I think this was just some sort of ball bearing grease or gearbox grease or something but either way it's designed to work with metal and plastic or, or in this case you know that's some sort of um, um, plastic inside there um, so what I do is I just put a, a little a little 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 nib of it on the end of a, a razor knife I mean you can use a pin you know a bit of plastic cardboard just enough then what I do is uh, I go down inside this is hard to do looking through the camera sorry so I go down press against the wheel and lift back up so that bit of grease is wiped up and inside of the wheel. And then all you want to do is just work it around. And there you go. It's actually better than when it was brand new. You know, that's actually nicer than when it was brand new. That's that's ultra finger light to, to do now. Um, once every couple of weeks. I mean, if you don't have that, maybe a bit of Vaso, a bit of car grease, a, a, anything, you know, a, any sort of lubricant, you know, we won't get too far into it, but, you know, that, that's a simple fix. And, and, and um, you know, if you're like me and you can't be stuffed sending your mouse, your mouse back, but, you know, it is a design fault. It's a design flaw. There's no doubt about it. It's a, it's a fault. You know, it shouldn't be metal, you know, probably plastic on plastic, not metal on plastic. Um, and probably slightly looser in the in the spring in the in the force back spring on it um, but yeah there you go a really easy fix um, uh, you know it'll probably make your, your mouse last a few more years now if we can just sort out the drama that people are having with the side buttons <laughs> but there you go cheers guys